For astronauts returned to Earth on Friday after a nearly eight-month space station stay extended by Boeing's capsule trouble and Hurricane Milton. A SpaceX capsule carrying the crew parachuted before dawn into the Gulf of Mexico just off the Florida coast after undocking from the International Space Station midweek. The three Americans and one Russian should have been back two months ago. But their homecoming was stalled by problems with Boeing's new Starliner astronaut capsule, which came back empty in September because of safety concerns. Then Hurricane Milton interfered, followed by another two weeks of high wind and rough seas. SpaceX launched the four, NASA's Matthew Dominic, Michael Barrett and Jeanette Epps, and Russia's Alexander Grabenkin, in March. Barrett, the only space veteran going into the mission, acknowledged the support teams back home that had to replan, retool and kind of redo everything right along with us, and helped us to roll with all those punches. Their replacements are the two Starliner test pilots Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, whose own mission went from eight days to eight months, and two astronauts launched by SpaceX four weeks ago. Those four will remain up there until February. The space station is now back to its normal crew size of seven, for Americans and three Russians, after months of overflow. Like we said before, the capsule's going about 15 to 16 miles per hour. And splash down. As you can see, SpaceX's recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon Splashdown. Dragon successfully re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, followed by deployment of its parachutes to slow the spacecraft down, fired straps and, um, and harnesses around, as you can see there, around the Dragon capsule. We also heard confirmation that uh, the words that were used were unfired ordnance, that those are those pyrotechnics that are utilized to fire it will be lifted into that nest and then that nest will translate toward the camera that we are looking from now so that nest will translate toward the forward end of the recovery vessel brace for capsule lift Dragon. all right lift now underway as we bring dragon in denver endeavor out of the water so the side hatch was never used uh, while it was in space. So this will be the first time that that side hatch will be reopened since liftoff. But it, uh, it is typically one of those middle seats because they're easiest um, to reach. So again, you do see uh, that crew member getting some assistance. I can't quite tell who it is just yet. I can only imagine what it feels like to have to stand up after spending nearly eight months in space and having to stand up for the first time with Earth's gravity. And that is uh, NASA astronaut Matt Dominic, who is now out of the spacecraft. Astronaut uh, Mike Barrett, this is the, uh, he is the veteran on this space flight. The other three flyers on board through eight were, were all rookies. And I do believe that is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps, who is next out. Yep, Jeanette Epps was the next one out, so Ale Alexander Grubankin will be next. <laughs> it's some thumbs up. And we now have all four crew members outside of uh, Crew Dragon Endeavor following their 235 days in space. Some cheers and excitement for Crew 8. That's great to see. Interceptions were seen over Tel Aviv on Wednesday night as the Israeli military said four rockets were identified crossing from Lebanon into central Israel. The army added in a statement that some of the rockets were intercepted and fallen projectiles were identified. Israel said that dozens of rockets were fired from Lebanon towards Israel on Wednesday. 
Earlier on Wednesday, air raid sirens echoed across Tel Aviv as United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken prepared to end a visit. Smoke, apparently from an intercepted projectile, could be seen in the sky above the hotel where Blinken was staying. Blinken urged Israel to use its recent tactical victories against Hamas to seek a war-ending deal and bring back dozens of hostages, before leaving Wednesday for Saudi Arabia as part of his 11th visit to the region since the start of the Israel-Hamas war.